Now, your 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast, presented by Volume Chevrolet. It's cloudy for us in Dublin as well. We're going to be seeing a lot of these clouds, not just today, but all week long. So it is going to be cooler outside. That's a plus, but obviously gloomy conditions, not necessarily a plus. 79 degrees right now in Dublin feels like 73. Again, that's our warm spot. Currently the heat index up to 82. We're continuing to track some rain activity, a little bit of shower activity now beginning to pick up in eastern Lawrence County as well as down in Telfair County, but the heaviest rain still mainly in Washington and Hancock counties tracking off to the east. So once that moves out, we should be done with our early morning wave of rain. You can indeed see there are a few other storms that may make their way in, but nothing quite as massive as that. But we are still anticipating more storm activity later. You can indeed see some making their way in from the west with Alabama. Those may impact us a bit. And then, of course, just thunderstorms that will pop up around the region. There's still a deep an amount of heat, even though it isn't necessarily going to be hot today. 82 for Forsyth and Macon, 85 in Gordon and Dublin are going to be our hot spots around the region today. But again, not too hot thanks to the overcast conditions. Many storms this afternoon actually being fueled by this cold front making its way in, but temperatures are not going to be colder after today just because this is making its way through. In fact, it's bringing us storms, and then we've got this warm front that's going to be making its way in. That's going to bring in more moisture and keep things warmer. Our rain chances will drop drop for tomorrow and Wednesday, but you see this big mess in Alabama and Mississippi and that will begin to make its way towards us as we head into Thursday and then Friday. Let's check out the rest of our afternoon. Scattered storms likely to fire up as we continue throughout the lunchtime hours and into the evening and about half of us should see them and once we roll into the evening hours is when the heaviest rain with those storms will make its way through once we roll into tonight. Overcast skies, maybe a couple of shower chances here and there after midnight and into tomorrow morning. I don't necessarily think it's going to be quite this widespread. I still have my doubts with this model here after uh, last Thursday and Friday with both those days basically being dry when uh, this thing was calling for saturation. But most certainly a couple of isolated showers possible ahead of tomorrow morning and then tomorrow afternoon will mainly be cloudy with one or two isolated storms. The overnight lows for tonight are going to be in the lower 70s basically everywhere you do see for sight that 69. That will be our cool spot. Still a decent amount of moisture in the air. And then, of course, the tropics. That storm we were tracking last week in the Gulf, a non-factor now. Don't need to worry about it. But we got a new tropical wave that has come off the west coast of Africa. Could potentially become a Cape Verde storm. There is no chance for cyclone development within the next 48 hours. But there's a 20% chance in the next five days. We'll continue to follow this and see if it becomes something of concern. Volume Chevrolet, good oil changes for life, plus a 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I-75, exit 187 in Forsyth. That's VolumeChevrolet.com. Your 41 NBC AccuWeather 7-day forecast is presented by Volume Chevrolet. So obviously a good chance for rain today, 50%. That's going to drop to 20 for both tomorrow and Wednesday with the best chance honestly being those showers potentially in the early morning. But that storm system creeping in from the west will begin to rate those rain chances up as we head into Thursday and Friday. And then after that makes its way through, we should finally see some sunshine make a return over the weekend. But of course, some isolated storms will still be possible in the afternoon.